Hashtag revive our pride. Hashtag revive our pride. Hashtag revive our pride. Hashtag revive our pride. Hashtag rebel pride. Hashtag revive our pride. Hashtag revive our pride. is a, a movement that we started um, a few of the students and teachers here where um, you know we realized that you know 10 10 or more years ago the school spirit at Highland High School was absolutely amazing and everybody loved to be here everyone was so proud to be a Highland Rebel and just everyone everyone supported each other everyone had so much fun at basketball games football games just anything that was going on every teacher I've talked to has been like Man, this is so much fun. This is this is great. This is I've never seen anything like this. Like Miss Carter has been here for twenty some odd years, and this is she said this is the best it's ever been. Like I think that once you have everybody firing all cylinders, we have our community, we have our staff, we have a lot of our student body. Once they're all together, then it really just it makes things work. So um, I grew up at Salem, went to school at Salem, and we were always jealous of Highland and the enthusiasm um, all the members of the school had and the pride they had and their activities and their academics and for whatever reason that dwindled away for a little while and it just got to where uh, you know no one's going to games no one's proud to be here I would hear all the time you know this school sucks or you know why all these all these other schools are so much more fun why can't our school be like theirs um just no one really was enjoying themselves to be at highland high school and um you know you'd look we'd look at other schools and me and a couple of my friends were talking about it and we say you know those people that go to those schools are going to look back um in 10 years and be like man those are those are the good days i really enjoyed my high school experience i was and we uh talked about it and we said you know if we don't change something that we're not going to we're not going to be able to look back and say that we miss our high school experience because we never we never did anything that was uh, worth remembering. So we got together and said things need to change, and um, we got to we got a good group of people behind us, and um, we got a bunch of people on board. Just say you know if these if these main people that are kind of the leaders of the school, you know if they'll step up and um, they'll do this fun stuff and they'll go out and get stuff started. Um, I, I say I really truly believe that everyone's going to fall right in place and everyone's going to do it too. And um, I believe that's what happened. I believe that um, if we're not already there, we're definitely uh, really close to reviving the pride. And um, just revive our pride just really means a lot to me. And just that if you look at if you look at where we were and look where we are now, just the school spirit that we've had this year is just absolutely amazing. The the memories that we made this year is absolutely amazing. I'll probably never forget it. I think Revive Our Pride has been such a huge success. Number one, student involvement. Like, a big reason that I don't think we had School Pride um, these past few years is because we didn't have any student involvement um, or student interaction. And I think this year we've really came together and um, wanted to make a difference. They've kind of been hungry for that sense of belonging to a community. and. Um, you know, being a part of something big. And we've always had that here. We've always had the potential for it. Um, it just seems this year there's extra effort to tap into that. People want to feel like they're a part of something, especially in high school. 
because everybody is just trying to figure out who they are and what they want to be. And I think Revive Our Pride is definitely a really big way to feel like you are a part of something. It started it started kind of calm like we were we were devoted, we were doing something great and everything. And we knew we were doing something great and we knew that we were going to achieve something good. So I'm going to give you a rundown of the game. It started here, it went up and it didn't stop. It kept going and we kept going and and that's what made the difference. We we just kept in it and uh, we had a whole family behind us. We had all of this section just filled with people who were who came to support the rebels and uh, that's what Rebel Pride's all about. So you know, it takes it takes a special group of people to get something like this started. You know, I think there's probably quite a few schools that have kids that are like, Man, you know, I wish I wish we did more fun stuff at our school and I wish I wish, you know, we had more school spirit, you know, you might see a student section with, you know, five people that are really passionate about it and um that that really want to get it going but they can't they can't get that that spark to really light a fire through the rest of the school but um, I truly believe that the people that we have here at Hot High School this year have really made this happen and I think uh, a lot of it has to do with the leadership uh, I know we have uh, you know some uh, enthusiastic uh, uh, administrators uh, Mr. Hemi uh, Coach Lewis Miss Floyd I know they've been like backing this 100 percent. Also, Ms. Helm and Ms. Carter have been working really hard at getting this going. Uh, they've put in a lot of hours. And, uh, and then the student body, um, you know, with the um, student council. I know they met earlier this year and got to work on it early, and they really worked hard on keeping it going. As soon as, as, soon as officer and student council elections happened last year, we, we were having meetings. We were getting plans for the summer, getting everything ironed out, and it's, it's hard to like revive the pride like obviously that's why our, that's our slogan because we were basically building up from nothing from the ashes so it's hard to get that that basis to build on so we're trying to get that this year so we can it'll be smoother for the upcoming years but Miss Helm and Miss Carter have made everything they do so much there's so many behind the scenes hours that nobody thinks about and they they spend so much of their free time that they don't have to be up here being up here just because they care so much like I couldn't think of two better people to be our student council sponsors. Um, we're up here. We were up here in the summer this year, getting stuff ready for school. We we're, you know, decorating the hallways, which is something we don't normally do. You know, just trying to, trying to, you know, just do the little things, uh, just to, just to change the atmosphere here, change it to where you know, kids walking to school are like, okay, this year might be a little bit different. Uh, you know, that's the hardest part. Is uh, you know. The first couple of weeks of school, you know, everybody can kind of get into it, but then you gotta, you gotta sustain it throughout the school year. And they've done a really good job of creating cool things, pep rallies and stuff like that to keep it going. Um, I feel like the biggest thing that has changed is just the pride itself. Um, I see students, you know, for the past several years, I've heard a lot of complaints about our school just complaining about everything <laughs> and uh, kids not wanting to be here, kids not excited about um, things going on at Highland. So the biggest change is the pride. You know, a bit, one of the biggest examples I can think of is, you know, since I was a freshman, I was, you know, I've always been passionate about student sections and having fun at games and really cheering real loud and everything. And uh, when I was a sophomore, uh, I think it was a pink out game. And I, I got to I got to the football field and went to the student section. I think I was the only one wearing pink. Um, I think there might have been you know five or ten students there, but they were just there and they were bundled up and their warm clothes and they had blankets and they're they're really just there to you know sit down in the bleachers and just kind of relax and just be there at the game, you know. And I'm there decked out. I got pink face paint on and just decked out in pink and I'm ready to I'm ready to get wild for the Rebels and um, but I was the only one and that's kinda hard to do. I remember one game looking up in the stands and it was it was raining, it was cold and Tate Isaacs was sitting in the student section by himself, dressed out with a poncho on. Through the rain, like he was there through everything. And this year, like just taking that to having like the whole student section full, it's it's crazy. Uh, and like the football team, I know they feed off of that. The crowd feeds off of that, and like the energy we've had has been electric, and it's it's by far the most fun I've ever had. 
this year you look at our pink out game and we have 30 kids out there in the student section it's cold but we got 30 kids out there in the student section they're getting loud you know it's it kind of stings a little bit when you clap your hands when it's that cold but everyone is doing it and um you know especially you know i think we we're really blessed this year uh, just with the weather, because last year's weather, it was raining, and it was 30 degrees every football game. This year, uh, there might have been one game where it was cold, and it was that pink out game I just talked about, but the rest of the games were, you know, 60 degrees or more. The sun was out, beautiful weather, um, and we just had a ton of kids come out. Um, everyone was cheering. Everyone's jumping up and down on kickoffs. Everyone's chanting, you know, let's go Big Red, and everyone's just having a good time. So um, you, you, take a, you take a snapshot of, uh, last year student sections and just participation in general and take a snapshot this year it's just it's no contest this year this year is just different anything you'd like to say to anyone who's not a part of Revival Pride so far it is really exciting and you really need to be in it because it's probably the most fun I've ever had in my whole life coming to Highland definitely was not a mistake if you're not a part of this movement, join it. This has been the most fun year I think Highland's had in a long time. It's been exciting, we've done a lot of cool things, and we've made a big difference in our community and in our school. So if you're not a part of it, join it, you won't regret it. Um, I think my main thing I'd say to them is why not? You know, why not, why not, you know, jump on the bandwagon and be a part of this? You know, this, um, everything we're doing is all good things. Um, you know, why, why make the decision to, to see something you don't like and just sit back and just let it keep on happening. You know, why, you know, if if this group of people at this school wouldn't have said, you know what, this like of school spirit is, is just awful and you know, I really hate that we don't have school spirit, but I'm just gonna sit back and just let it keep being that way, we'd still be in that situation. I tell people just to go out and have fun. Uh, they're too young not to have fun. Don't worry about what people think about you. I can promise you there's more people uh, enjoying seeing you have fun than there are not and don't let the few mess up uh, what you want to do with your life and, and just don't let the few make you miss out on having fun you get to where you're you know 30 40 years old you got kids you're married already and uh, you can either look back and say you know what my high school days we had some really good memories I'll never forget those and those that that's some really good times or you can look back and say you know what I'm so glad I'm out of high school um, you know, I'm I, I'm just so glad those four years couldn't have gone by fast enough, and that's uh, that's really your decision, and uh, you're the only one that can that can decide that. But I mean, my thing is just why not? Why not be a part of it? Why not be able to look back on high school with good memories? Why why make the decision to look back on it with bad memories? So um, that's what I would have to say to anyone who's not a part of it right now. We have such a good thing going, and it's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. So. Join in, be a part of it. Love Let's, you guys. Let's keep reviving our pride. You guys are all we room with. Little things turn into big things. And this started out as something little. Student Council had a good idea for some little things. And look what it's turned into. I'm proud, and that's what y'all did. That's